Instagram Reel Captions for Pancat Pro. So let's take a look. I will show you how to make this in Apple Motion. So we will do this three text animation. It is really easy to do. So let's hop on to Motion. So here on the project browser, my settings is 1080, frame rate of 29.97, and then the duration. Let's set that to one second only. Select open. Then the first thing that we need to go to project inspector. Then here on the snapshots, press T on this one, and then and 9 by 16 now we have our vertical format let's add our text now the next step is very easy go to behaviors text basic and then slide in let's trim this one around 20 frames then here on the behaviors here on the format change the position so x set that to zero and then here on the y let's set it to minus 25 or let's say minus 50 then here on the controls change the animate from character to line then the speed let's set it to custom then let's adjust the handles for this one so go to the keyframe editor then select all the keyframes Control a and then right click interpolation bezier then let's adjust the handles so that's the first text animation. Now let's proceed to text 0 to and same settings. Set it the alignment to center, then position and set that to 0, 0. Then for the font, I'm gonna select this Gluck. Then I'm gonna increase the font size. So let's say 125. Then here on the appearance, let's change the paste from fill with color to gradient. Adjust your gradient in here, something like this one. Then let's go back to format and then adjust the slant. So your slant is available here on the advanced settings. So let's just adjust it like uh, this one. Let's say seven. Then to animate this one, let's go to behaviors, text basic. Okay, then slide in. Let's trim it to 20 frames also. So here on the slide in controls, change the animate to word also. Then here on the format, let's say minus 75. Then the speed change that to custom. Let's adjust the handles again. Okay, my mistake is not negative, should be positive 75. Okay. Then one more thing, let's add some blur. So add parameter, add face, then then blur. Just set that to 10. So let's take a look. Okay, very nice. Then let's add a filter. So go to filters, glow, and then neon. Okay, so let's adjust some settings in here. So inner glow, set that to maybe like this one. And then edge intensity. So in here, it depends on you. You can follow my settings. Okay, let's take a look at the file animation. Okay, so we just finished text number two. So let's delete this one. Let's go to our final text animation. Let's add another text again. Type animation for the font. Let's use area also again and then bold. Same settings as earlier. Okay, so to animate this one, let's go to behaviors, text basic, and then slide in 20 frames. Let's trim that keyframe. So press O on your keyboard. So for the format, let's set the X to zero and then the Y to minus 75. Here on the controls, let's change the direction from backwards to forwards and then the speed to custom. Let's animate or let's adjust the handles. So interpolation busy and then let's adjust the handles. Clean easy. Then let's go again to slide in and then let's add parameter, face, and then blur. So similar as earlier. So let's increase that one. Okay, then let's add another filter. So filters, glow, and then neon. This one just adjust the inner glow first because it's too much. So let's take a look at the final animation or final look of our text tree. Okay, so that's how to create that animated Instagram 
Reels captions using Motion for Final Cut Pro. I hope you enjoyed this short and quick tutorial. Thank you and I will see you again the next time.